In the comic book world, the Western genre is much more alive in Europe than it is in North America, but that shouldn't stop you to know who are the best. There are five masterpieces in the world of Western comics. Lucky Luke, Comanche, Blueberry, Durango, and Bouncer. The Bouncer series is the last best Western comic that has been released, and DC Comics is now publishing it in English. The grandiose city of the landscape of the West, perfectly drawn by virtuoso François Bouc, paired with the ingenuity and skillful writing of Alexandre Jodorowsky, also known as Jodo, definitely gives Bouncer its status as a cult saga. This colorful series will take you to panoramic and majestic landscapes and will include Indian tribes, settlers, soldiers and pastors who will compete in those territories without borders left to the madness of man. François Bouc's art is once again first class. The vastness of the West, the palpable salon, and how he manages to bring the gunfight to life are all visually fantastic. Bouncer is a half-Indian hero with a peculiar disability. He only has one arm, and the physical challenges he faces are great. He has to compensate for the absence of the right arm, but manages well with the impressive address of the left one. As Bouc once said, what was most difficult to stage is the handicap of Bouncer. An arm by itself is heavy in weight. When you are without an arm, you must constantly rebalance to feel the weight missing. So I spent much time studying the posture of the Bouncer, so they are as realistic as possible. Bourque is most famous for his serial comic revolving around the main character Jérôme Moucherot in Les Dents du Recoin. He also created another successful series with Jodo called Face de Lune. Throughout his career, Jodorowsky has gained a reputation of, as a philosopher and a scholar, filmmaker, playwright, actor, author, and a spiritual guru. But he is best known as a comic writer grandmaster. With a series like The Incal, After The Incal, Before The Incal, The Techno Priest, The Adventure of Dalefto, The White Lama, The Meta Baron, and Borgia. In Bouncer, Jodorowsky's pen can be brutally violent and it certainly describes the madness of man and its wild west savagery. It displays a balance between Shakespearean tragedy and the film of Sergio Leone, violent, bloody and tinted with erotism. The saga plays on all fronts. The first album starts after the Civil War, when America was traumatized by years of war. The three brothers Van Dormant, a pastor, a soldier and bouncer, will tear each other apart in this unstable environment for the possession of a legendary diamond, Kane's eyes. Even if you're not a fan of Western, this series will blow you away. The artwork is fantastic, the script is witty, it's the masterpiece. <laughs>